Hello everyone, my name is Michael Michael and I am the Senior Director of Products at Apprenda. Today, I will be speaking to you about application high availability and show you how Apprenda ensures that when your application is scaled to a certain number of instances, we will maintain that instance count and make sure that the intent of the developer is always met. Over here, we have an application called Apprenda App HA that is already scaled to one instance in Apprenda. So if we go to the scale tab of the developer portal, we can see that our application is designed to have one instance count always up and running. What I have here is a little test application that I wrote in PowerShell that is allowed to hit the endpoint of my application and it hits the endpoint 10 times uh, in a very quick iteration of a loop that runs forever. And what essentially I'm when I show you guys here is that as we scale our application, we're gonna show you how load balancing of Apprenda works and how we're load balancing the requests across the many number of instances of your application, but also more importantly, if one of your application instances crashes for whatever reason, whether that's a bug um, in the application or a node failure or hardware failure, Apprenda is able to recover very quickly, stand up a new instance of your application to meet demand and also show you how these requests that are happening from outside the application are able to recover as well. In this case, we have one single instance of the application and it's running on the server called CL1 Win1 and it has a process ID 119128 for this instance of the application. So let's go ahead and scale our application to three instances. So the developer now is specifying his intent to have three instances and we hit save. See how easy it was. All I did was drag a slider around and I was able to immediately instruct Apprenda to deploy three instances of my application. Obviously, I could have changed this to auto scaling. So I could have defined um, a KPI to say, go ahead and scale my instance to X amount of instances uh, with a maximum and a minimum boundary if I wanted to, or I could use proactive scheduling um, uh, pro proactive schedule scaling to indicate a specific number of instances to be present at any point in time based on a set schedule. So let's go ahead right now and click to the monitor tab of Apprenda. And what's happening is behind the scenes, we already went ahead and deployed the three instances that I wanted for my application. So we have uh, their instance ID here deployed uh, and they get to show you their CPU and memory usage. Now, if I go back to my partial script that I run, notice how now we have three servers that are servicing my request, Windows 1, Windows 2, and Windows 3. And now we're low balancing the request. So the first two have gotten 28 and the last one had 184. That's because we started with the server uh, and having instances hit it a lot earlier. And now if we look at the process ID, you see that the process ID changes based on each request. Because I'm making 10 requests each time, they're probably load balance in a round robin manner across all the instances of our application. Now, you'll notice here that the instance IDs are 53044, 119128, as well as the one that we saw earlier. So if we go to the operator portal of Apprenda, now I'm switching hats and I'm the operator and we search for the application that I have deployed here, it's called Apprenda App HA, and click on that, I will notice that it has three user interfaces deployed, one on each server, and the process IDs are the same that I'm able to capture from outside my application. So what does this application look like? It's a simple ASP.NET app, here it is, and um, it's designed to capture some information about the server that it's hosted on. Uh, just for reporting purposes to showcase the power of this demo. So this specific instance is running on CL1 Win1. It's a Windows Server 6.3, so it's a Windows Server 2012 server. And it's also telling me what kind of username I have on my Apprenda application. So this is the identity that Apprenda is running the application under. You could obviously view more environment details. But the important thing here is I want to show you the process ID here. So if we refresh this, the process ID for my application is 53044. And that's the application process ID for the CL1 Win2 server. So let's go ahead and crash that. So what, what will happen here is I'm gonna force an exception that will be unhandled on the application. 
as if the application crash itself and a process ID will terminate and exit. A prender would immediately detect that and spawn a new instance of my application immediately to meet the instance count of three that I have asked. So let's go ahead and click on crash pit here. I'm gonna open up my partial window here and notice that if you have an in-flight request at the same time, it is expected to fail, but we only saw one failure here in our script and that process ID is gone. So if I stop my script here for a second and maximize this window, if we go up, you will notice that the process ID 53044 was evident earlier on Windows Node 2. Then we got an exception here because there was an in-flight request to this application and that failed because we crashed the process. And then immediately, you notice that the apprenda recovered. We deployed a new instance of our application and now on server Windows 2, the process ID is 15172. So if I refresh here, I notice here that the process ID is 15172. That shows you the power of Apprenda. We had an application running on our platform. We crashed the application and within a split second, Apprenda detected that. It deployed a new instance of our application to meet the developer intent of having three instances always running at the same time. And then immediately new requests could load balance to the new instance of our application without skipping a bit. Obviously, uh, there's some advanced features that Apprenda has here, like session replication that would allow Apprenda to store the HTTP session information in our distributed cache and preserve it in the event of a node failure. So that will further help your application. We also support sticky sessions. So if you wanted to guarantee all the requests for a particular session are serviced by the same uh, Apprenda node, we will also maintain that and make sure that the load balancing that's happening ensures that existing requests are routed to the same server. So that's it. In this very short demo, we were able to demonstrate that how application high availability works in Apprenda and how we maintain the instance count that the developer wanted. And in the event that even a, a node failure or an application failure happens, we're able to recover very quickly and maintain availability of your application. Thank you.